The following documents and recordings are the sixth instalment in a compilation detailing the events of the archaeological team sent to base Camp Piedra, consisting of Dr. Carito Ureta, Lucas Criado, Ava Olivia Moreno, Dr. Josefa Guerrero, Simon Hall, and Dr. Xiao Liu. Following the previous instalment, the archaeological team prepares for the next day of work, though the heavy fog has not lifted. In the winter months, snowstorms and rainfall in the Patagonian ice fields can drastically affect the landscape. Worsened by heavy winds, such storms can reduce visibility and lead to glacial calving, ice collapses and avalanches. During these conditions, travel is not advised. The White Vault The following is a video recording from Miss Moreno's smartphone. The file was auto saved to the site's backup. Trabajando? Mierda. Ok, concéntrate. Bien, todo listo por hoy. Anoche tuvimos una larga charla sobre las posibles fechas. Working? Shh, just focus. Good. Ready for the day. We've had a long conversation last night regarding the possible dates given the age of the encasing ice. It's hard to tell given our current info, but Dr. Guerrero has me enthused over the possibilities. This could help establish a new timeline. Jesus. Hey, Lucas, come here for a moment. Yes, Eva. I got bit by one of those bugs that came out the door. Really? Itch you? It's itchy. It's swelling. It hurts to move my elbow. Is anything here venomous? Bit or stung? Uh, I, I um, I don't know. They were moving, flying really fast. I didn't even know something had landed on me before I felt pain. It was black, fuzzy, like it had little hairs, like like an angry looking bumblebee. <laughs> bumblebee? <laughs> an angry black bumblebee, and a lot of them. Did it have any orange hair? Like a bee? No, like the local horse flies. It's orange around the head, shiny eyes, and nasty bites. No, these were all black. We were carrying lights because of how dark the cave was. They were close. And if there was color, I think I would have noticed. Oh, Sorry. Don't uh, touch it. Checking for infection. Uh, it looks fine. We don't tend to see any serious bug bites around here. Not as far south, you know. You'll be fine. This site is inflamed, and it will hurt for a while, but just like a bee sting. But what was it? The bug? Don't know. Horseflies steal my guess. Big bees like that? Black? Uh, the closest thing is a vulture bee, but I haven't seen those in Patagonia. They are closer to the equator. Lucas, you're bleeding. Your, your mouth. Oh, right. I couldn't sleep last night, so I went out for a smoke. I fell on a loose section of rock. I cracked the tooth. Must have hurt the gingiva as well. Oh, well, it looks painful. Open your mouth. Here. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Oof. Ah. Uh. It looks bad. Shit, sorry. I think you're missing a premolar. When you see it... <coughs> it is you, too. What? Hmm? Huh? Nothing. So that was you, then. I did wonder what that noise was last night. Uh, what noise? Just footsteps in the rocks outside the sleeping section of the tent. Right. Hey, you ready to go? Oh, it's warm in here. The rest of the tent is freezing. Also, uh, the fog's not lifting, so where are your headlamps? Oh, yeah, okay. The coffee for the thermos is nearly ready. How's Dr. Ureta and Dr. Liu? I haven't checked on Dr. Ureta. Uh, Dr. Liu's got a weird amount of energy. I think she's gotten over whatever bug she had. She and Professor Guerrero already left. We should catch up. Yeah, uh, I just I wanted to check on the cameras on the statues before anything else. I'll meet you up there. I'll check on Dr. Ureta. Uh, Ava? 
Yes? Your phone's still on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, thanks. I was doing a log of... The following is an addendum added to the file regarding Simon Hall's previous official entry. It was written the morning after the original file and references the videos from the camera set up to monitor the statues. Only short sections of the videos are salvageable and even fewer are useful. In a short three second clip, a grinding noise can be heard, like rock sliding over rock, before the video camera in the cave falls over and goes black. Several seconds later on the timestamp, the sounds of rocks falling can be heard and the camera outside the cave then falls over and cuts to black. Un addendum a las notas de anoche sobre las cámaras puestas para monitorear la actividad de la... An addendum to last night's notes on the cameras set up to monitor activity around the statues E7, C5A, and C5B. Thankfully, the cameras are still in working condition, though a little scratched. The statues are still in their alcoves as of this morning. After having time to examine the videos, I have a difficult time believing that I made some error in the proper mounting required. During the night, both of the cameras fell over, even given their secure and obscured hiding places. I originally thought the cameras may have moved due to the wind, but as Professor Guerrero reminded me, the wind does not reach into the cave. Also, when looking at the timestamps, I found that the video inside the cave fell first, followed by the one outside the cave several seconds later. Whatever knocked them over wasn't entering the cave, but leaving it. I believe I should speak with Dr. Liu on this matter, but it may not have mattered in the end. The dense fog is back and the cameras would not have been able to see the statues from their locations anyways. This following piece of documentation was recorded on one of the previously referenced video cameras later that day. These recordings degrade at points, possibly due to camera malfunction caused by the fall the previous night. There is also a noticeable scratch across the lens of the video. Ah, shit. That's not going to buff out. Ava, do we have any replacement lenses? Not that I know of. Will the 360 camera still work up? Yes, yes, Professor. That one's fine. It's just one of the camcorders from last night that got damaged. I'll be doing the 360 shots of the inner cave today, and then I can move into the hall beyond the door. What about the lighting? Anything we can bring in there would be great. The cords for the larger lights won't reach. Lucas tried. We'll figure something out. Get the camera set up, then get to work inside the doors. We have a lot to map and only three days left. Uh, yes, okay, of course. Um... Hold this? Uh, please. <laughs> Lucas? Yes, doctor? Did you find the satellite phone? <sighs> no, not yet. Lucas, we need to know if we are leaving on time. Or at all. How long can the fog stay? <sighs> That's not something I can know, but fog can stay in the mountains for weeks. But at least the wind is less. Is there anywhere you have not checked? If I knew that, I would check it. If you cannot find it, then go help Hall. We'll operate us through. The schedule is unchanged. Dr. Guerrero? Yes, Eva? I'm worried about Dr. Ureta. She doesn't really confide in me, but I was hoping you would know more about what's wrong. <sighs> no, I don't know much. She seems tired, but I think she's more upset. Angustiada. She's not ill, but I don't think she's sleeping. Thank you, Professor. The 360 camera is set to take video for the next 20 minutes. So we should move out of here for a better capture. Oh, I can take that back now. Here. Um, Simon, how do I know if the scan were captured? Oh, you won't. I mean, I generally do two or three passovers for each glyph, then choose the best one from the files later on. We don't have a tablet with the app installed, so you just need to wait until you can upload the glyphs later tonight. That's very inefficient. I can go get the laptop and help with that, Dr. Liu. 
Unless you have something specific you'd like, Dr. Guerrero. <laughs> that sounds fine. And check on Carito while you're down there. I can stand being the one everyone asks for permission. It's like having undergraduate students again. All right, I'll be back soon. Hall, if the camera is set up for now, I need you to start the excavation on those passages. We need to know the extent of the site. Lucas will help you. Uh, yes, of course. You mean removing the nests? The nests in the passageway blocking the door for now. The ones blocking the wall glyphs will have to wait. Oh, uh, okay. What the hell's a vulture bee? What's what? I spoke with Ava about her bug bite. She said you said it was a vulture bee. Ah, uh, no. I said it was most likely horsefly, but what she describes most resembled a vulture bee. Just that. But those are not here in Patagonia. What did you see? Ugh. <laughs> I hate bugs. I had my eyes closed most of the time. They were black, though, and a little fuzzy. Ugh. But anyway, what's a vulture bee? That, that sounds painful. They don't hurt people. They're stingless. That's why I said it wasn't that. They eat dead things, like vultures do. Wait, wait, stop. They eat corpses, not flowers? Yes, uh, they make honey from liquid flesh and Ugh. crawl in through the eyes of dead creatures. Oh, God, that, that makes it so much worse. Why? At what point in our evolutionary history did a bee look at a corpse and think, Yeah, that, that, that looks way better than a daisy. <sighs> but you think the things in here were horseflies? They bite, right? Yes, they bite. How'd they get in here? So... Dr. Gehero wants this cleared away. Yeah, the nests are blocking the passageway. Uh, there may be more to document on the other side. Oh, God damn it. I've never seen nests this big. Horseflies make these things? Oh, crap. No, this look like a vespa. Huge vespa. They look like bees sometimes, but skinny and angry. Wait, like a wasp? These are wasp nests? Wasps don't live up here, and I don't hear buzzing. I don't think there are any bugs left in there. Of course not. Those are what flew out when we opened the door. <laughs> what the hell? Lucas, stop! What now? You said we had to clear the nests. This is an archaeological site, not a demolition. You could break something. Fine, we will do it your way. But now the past way is clear, very <sighs> quick, so you can see the rest of the site. <sighs> So glad I have that on video. If Professor Guerrero ever thought I did that, jeez. Yes, Hall. Ah! <laughs> oh, yes, Professor. Um, the, the passageway is open. It May I borrow the recorder? I will be making field notes. Uh, of course. Here. It's on? Yes. Ahora que hemos tenido más tiempo para examinar el interior del pasillo tallado, el sitio presenta más misterios de los vistos anteriormente. Ahora debemos no solo hacer now that we have had more time to examine the interior of the carved hall, the site has begun to present more mysteries than before. We must now not only come to terms with the site's existence, but its extent and the new mass of archaeological evidence pointing towards some modification to our understanding of the peopling of the Americas. The walls and crevasses of the inner hall are obscured by large insect nests. The nests most resemble the colonies of potter webs, but the husks are gray due to the use of local gray granite material. When we opened the door, bugs flew out and we have yet to find any more inside the nests. I've had a few ideas regarding the central descending area. Here, you can see the finely carved staircases directly across from each other. It would allow for a direct procession from the entrance to the far western door of the inner hall, except for the podium or rostrum of some kind that rises from the center of the descending steps' lowest level. Now, upon... <gasps> Professor, are you okay? Yes, Hall! I'm fine! Uh, ¿Dónde me quedé? Sería una línea recta la que atravesaría la habitación si no fuese por el podio o posible altar. Where was I? 
Uh, it would be a straight line across the room, if not for the podium or possible altar, in the center of the descending steps. Looking at it, it's very reminiscent of a modern theater in the round, though the central podium could only hold one or two persons at a time. Now, I tripped earlier because the stones at the bottom of the platforms are loose with age. Again, the stones are perfectly uniform and very reminiscent of the quality of craftsmanship found in some Incan sites. Oddly, the stones on the bottom platform are significantly smaller. Perhaps the smaller stones are style toys or a use for smaller stone remnants. There are signs of wear on the stairs. A somewhat depressed and eroded central channel that would have formed over years of prolonged use. The decorative bones have been photographed and we will need to examine them at another time as we cannot reach them without ladders. From below I can only speculate their use in religious or theatric settings. Back up this eastern staircase we can once again see glyphs and larger pictorial carvings in a similar style. These are similar to those glyphs found outside the cave and hall. Our on-site epigrapher Dr. Liu for this fail season has been documenting and categorizing the glyphs. Here, in a pictorial representation, we have a human figure crushing down, possibly hiding from a type of prehistoric megafauna. Its massive bulk shows it standing the height of two humans. It may be some kind of gum folder like a mastodon based on the large tusks. And here, another carving. This one, it appears to be an orca. Orca whales have recurring representation in Indian religions. This style, very reminiscent of the Nazca culture. Now, I'm proceeding to the eastern door, where Hall and Lucas have cleared away some of the insect nests. Hall, what happened here? I thought you wanted it clear quickly. Simon has informed me that I was wrong. We have to be careful with these sites, Lucas. Yes, Professor. We will be from now on. Well, you can pass through. Should we open a door? In a moment. Let me look over the door first. La puerta que da al este está cerrada. El nido de los insectos no fue correctamente limpiado, pero se han ido. La puerta parece que puede ser empujada. The eastern door is closed. The insect nests were improperly clear, but they are gone. The door looks as though it may push in. There's no seal or lock, at least not from this side. The door is carved with a groove along the inside edge. The door's form is near perfect. I can fit the edge of a trowel in. I'm not sure I could fit a knife blade. N now, look as hole, push it open, slowly. If you hear anything breaking, stop. All right, let's do this. Well, nothing seemed to break. Maybe another hallway. Shine the light in. Ha, come with me. Lucas, go begin clearing the west door. More carefully this time. Yes. Ha, ¿estás listo? Sí, profesora. Sostén la luz y ten cuidado por donde andes. Es una escalera o algún tipo de cueva descendiente. Hold up the light and watch your step. It's a stairwell or some kind of descending cave. Here, beyond the door, the man-made carvings decrease significantly. The descent is a natural cave formation, but modified for easy use. There are signs of wear, though significantly less than out in the main hall. Now, that's new. Ho, oh, shine the light there. Scratches like something was dragged. Hmm, possibly a storage area. Lack of decoration, easy access, sealed off from looters or sacred space. Mountain. Incan Kapak Husha ceremonies were performed in revered places. Waka, many of which were natural places like mountains. How deep does it go? Oh, look here, a carving. Some type of megaphone, A giant sloth, perhaps? Uh, Professor Guerrero, I, I, don't, I don't mean to stop you, but I think if we plan on going down here any further, we may need different gear. Yes. Rope, some light sticks, 
Welcome back. Let's check on Lucas and the other door. Watch your footing at the base. The stones are loose. Can we get through yet? Give me a moment. The rocks were heavy. And there were so many. The door is in great condition, but... Look at the floor. We're on down with use like the stairs. Still no seal or lock. Now push it open carefully. If you hear anything amiss, stop. Merda, estou emperrado. Is something on the other side? Keep it open. Let me look. I see rocks. I can squeeze them and move them. Hold the camera. Pass me another light, please. Here. Look up above the door. The rocks came from there. We could have climbed over the door. Try to open it now. It should be clear. <laughs> Good. Hall, come with me. Lucas, wait here for Eva and see if Dr. Liu needs assistance. Hall, ¿está preparado? Sí, profesora. Aunque esto se ve un poco empinado. Though, this looks very steep. Parece que tenemos mucho más trabajo del que habíamos anticipado. Así que no te detengas y sostén bien la linterna. It looks like we have a lot more work ahead of us. So keep up and hold up the lantern. Devuélveme la cámara. Now, beyond the western door, we open into what looks like a natural vertical shaft within the mountain. There is a carved landing at the top, and the walls here are decorated with... Bellísimo! Las paredes están decoradas con guirnaldas de piedras. The walls are decorated with strings of stone beads. I thought at first it would be rods, but they sway when touched. Though they appear fragile. Bits and tiny curvings. Hall, be careful of the walls and pick up some of the beads to examine later. Huh? What are you doing back there? A uh, moment, Professor? I saw something. Could, could, you, could you come back here, please? What? What is it? Bugs. Eh, more of them. Behind the curtain of the beads. When you touched it, uh, I, 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 I saw them crawling. Ugh. The beads cast shadows in the beam of light hall. It was a trick of your eyes. If there were insects, you would hear them. If so, there was something else. If you move the beads again, I think there was a doorway in the wall. I think the beads are there for privacy. You're right. Hall, stay here at the entrance and get those beads to take back. Keep your light on. Crack another one too. I won't go far, but this is... I'm going to look. Shouldn't I go with you? And be careful of the floor. Lots of those bees have fallen. If you can't hear me talking to the camera, yell. Ho ha descubierto que las guirnaldas están de hecho ocultando pequeñas aperturas. Toda la pared está cubierta de hilos con cuentas intercaladas con delicados figurines de piedra. Ho has spotted that the bits were in fact obscuring small entryways. The whole wall is covered in the strings of these beads, interspersed with delicate stone figurines, but only some sections of the long curtain have entries behind them. I am moving into one of them now. The entry arc is about two meters high, perhaps a little less, and opens into a small room. Oh, here in an alcove, almost a shelf, there are postures, possible remains of stone vessels, utilitarian items. If we can find organic residue, we may be able to apply a few different dating techniques. We'll come back for a sample. Now, over here is a low passage. The ceiling is lower, but I can still stand. There is a long, low rectangular platform just half a meter or so from the floor. It honestly looks like a sleeping platform from first glance, but I would need to examine the room under better light to make a more informed guess. Professor! Are you all right? I'm fine. I'll be out in a moment. 
Acabo de ver algo en el piso. ¿Dónde estaba? Ahí. ¿Qué es eso? I saw something on the floor just now. Where was it? There. What is that? On the floor, in the living area, there is a small, shiny figurine. It's the size of my hand, black rock, and it looks to represent an insect of some kind. I'll bag it and bring it back down to Dr. Ureta. Oh, good. What did you find? It's hard to tell in the dark. It may have been a residence or area of rest. There were storage areas, some shirts, a possible sleeping platform, and I found a figurine of an insect. This is amazing! Did you find organic matter? Not yet. Let's get back to the others. I think the rest of the staircase will need to wait until we're better prepared. Also, I'm hungry, and I think Dr. Rureta will want to be informed of these new finds. Here, take the camera. Yes, good. I am okay with how dark it is, but I'm still not sure that what I saw was just shadows. Ah, Dr. Guerrero. Simon, there you are. ¿Todo va bien? Oh, carito, ven conmigo. Hay algunas cosas que te quiero mostrar. Empezaremos en el lado este. ¿Te sientes mejor? How's Dr. Guerrero? She looks exhausted. When I found her, she was sitting up in bed, just staring at the entrance to the tent. She had a lot of documents and a tablet, so I think she was researching, but she doesn't really talk to me. Her eyes were so wide, like, I'm not sure what she expected to walk through that door. Shit. Well, Professor Guerrero has been non-stop here. We were able to get both the west and east door open. There's a lot more past the doors. Ava, did you bring the laptop? Yes, Dr. Liu. I have it here. I'll be right over. I have to go help Dr. Liu on the scans for a while. Once she has the process under control, I'll be back to help. Hey, Lucas! Lucas! Lucas? What the hell? Stop scratching the wall! Stop it! What's going on, Simon? Shit, man! Are you okay? Uh, yeah. yeah. How? Yeah, I'm fine. Scooper. What the hell, Lucas? I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I thought I saw something. I was surprised. Are you okay? Yeah. Fine. Camera's fine too. Just... I'm gonna take a breather outside. At least the nests were empty. Damn. The following is another typed email receipt, received the backup from the computer of Dr. Liu. It was not sent and there is no designated recipient. I spent a half an hour to find our WeChat phone. Although the amount of money is not very big, so it should be very well to find it. I spent half an hour looking for the satellite phone today. The camp is not very large, so it should have been easy to find, but it was nowhere within the tent or the cave. We have not found it anywhere along the path either. I, I cannot send these emails, but I think it is important to write, as they did. I spoke with Ava today. I needed to confide in someone. She seemed the least affected by the events so far. She has a strong mind, a clear head on her shoulders. Or she did, before I told her. I have not shown her my notes yet, now that it would help before I translate from Mandarin. There is something here to know, but I am no longer willing to learn. The fog has settled in. Soon should come rain. I spoke with Dr. Guerrero and Dr. Ureta regarding their findings today. We have seen the great statues that disappear without a trace, and the deep glyphs carved into the stone, and now they have found stone beads and living spaces. Everything is coming. Ava is skeptical, but I think she will begin to see it now. When you see it, it sees you too.
The following recording is from the same camera as the most recent camera recording, but from later that evening after the team returned to base Camp Piedra. The video is mostly a blur of tent canvas, eventually ending in a shot of the dark sky. What's happening? Earthquake? Avalanche? Hold on to the equipment! Anything breakable! The cave! The side! Glacial Calvin, somewhere nearby. It should pass. Everyone okay? Right. Fine. <laughs> Say same. Are we safe here? Should we leave? A chunk of ice broke off a glacier, or maybe a rock broke off a mountain. Well, either way, we need to be careful. Is the site still accessible? We must check. Oh, stop! Wait! The path may be unsafe. We should... It's snowing. This concludes the records from the day the team opened the passage off the main chamber and the evening the snows began. This completes the sixth set of documents related to the archaeological team sent to examine and record the petroglyphs found in the Patagonian ice field above base camp Piedra. The White Vault, 